Hey guys! Hey guys! We're back with another Supergirl review! This time reviewing the Season 2 premiere of Supergirl titled The Adventures of Supergirl. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. So there were two things for the premiere that I was looking for. I wanted to know how well the switch would go from, C from CBS to CW and how it would be actually getting Superman in the show. And so far, I think both of them are perfect. I think with the switch to CW, with the lower budget, the effects don't seem to have suffered at all. Yeah, um, but I feel like Supergirl didn't doesn't really need too many effects. I think they can get away with that because they're not necessary. You can still have a good show without having, I mean, they had Smallville on it. It's going to have similar effects to Smallville, so I think it kind of works. And Tyler Hoechlin as Superman. I think he did a really good job, and the, and I really like the Superman outfit, actually, yeah, in the Yeah, the premiere. Superman outfit is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I like his costume from Supergirl better than the Man of Steel costume. Yeah, the costume is wicked awesome. I like that it's similar to Kara's, but not exactly the same. There are yeah. differences to show that they each chose their own costume, but similar enough in that... They both had, like, thought in this. Like. And really, I kind of like Tyler Hoechlin better than I like Henry Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like Henry Cavill as... Uh, he, he's a fine Superman. I don't like his Clark Kent. I think Tyler Hoechlin played a great Clark Kent. Oh my gosh, yeah. Clark Kent was fantastic. Yeah. And finally, we were introduced to what could be maybe the villain for the season lena luther we don't really know yeah so far it doesn't seem like she's a villain but come on she's a luther yeah she's gotta be a villain i, I feel like they're setting us up for like a bait and switch because through the whole episode you were like oh there's a luther in town she's the villain of this episode and she wasn't she was actually the victim she was the target which just kind of makes you feel like it's setting her up to be yeah. the villain. Like, they don't just do that. Now, they, they could be setting her up like they did Cass in Smallville, where she was a villain for a little while, if I remember correctly, and then she ended up not being so much of a villain anymore. Kind of an anti-hero kind of a character. Maybe they could be setting Lena up for something like that. But I, I don't think so. It does seem to me like Lena Luthor probably will be the big bad for this season. Or, or at least kind of a replacement for Maxwell Lord. Yeah, that's that's kind of the vibe I got. Like, she's not necessarily going to be some evil mastermind, but I do get, like, a, a Lord vibe from her. Like, yeah. she's going to replace him as, like, this mosquito villain that's yeah. just off there and annoying. And maybe there will be a separate big bad. Yeah, maybe. Especially since... Superman, it seems like Superman's going to be a around for a while, at least a couple of ep episodes. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you kind of need a bigger bad than just her. It could be the Kryptonian who, who fell in the pod. That yes. could end up being the big bad for this season. They, they, I don't think they gave us a name. No, we don't have a that. name yet. Um, my, my money's on Zod. I, th I think they'll do Zod. Oh, that'd be interesting, yeah. Yeah. And one last thing I want to mention, the new location for the DEO. I, I like the new location. I think it's really cool. I think it looks better visually. I didn't much care for the reasoning behind why they suddenly have a new location. Yeah, they kind of just brushed it off. Yeah. Like, oh, well, yeah, we have tons of locations. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, it that's just, yeah. not really satisfactory. I, I love the new location. Yeah, I think yeah. it looks amazing. It's a great, but, like, yeah, it needed a better explanation, even if it was an off-screen explanation, like, uh, too bad that nuclear missile fell on the old <laughs> base. I mean, something, something <laughs> destroyed it. I, like, we needed something like that, and yeah, yeah it kind of just fell flat. Overall, I really enjoyed the season two premiere of Supergirl. I'm really excited to see where it goes. And hopefully it has a long time home on CW. Yes. It's surrounded by other superhero shows. And it does seem like there's going to be a massive crossover. Possibly so. linking up to Flashpoint. I think that could be really cool. Yeah, I really, really hope so. Because I definitely want to see Flash and Supergirl together again. Mm -hmm. And... Um, 
if for any of you who are watching Arrow, it seems like they're trying to make it lighter and funnier like The Flash is and less serious. And if it goes that route, it'd be cool to see the Arrow with Supergirl. Like, get yeah. all of them together. That would be really cool. Yeah, the, the season uh, five premiere of Arrow was actually really good. It was mm -hmm. way more grounded than last season. Yeah. More, more light, more, more jokes, more humor. The, the action, I felt like the action was better choreographed, actually, in, yeah. in the season premiere of Arrow as well. But uh, that, that's... A <laughs> whole different total show. whole different show. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we got sidetracked. I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys have anything to add, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.